hello guys good morning it's another beautiful day and um, today we are going to talk about another open source project and um, this is still my open source info series where I describe some open source projects that will help you in different forms you know like this one now is going to help you in um, web designs you know these days I've been talking a lot about um, JavaScript and different um, tools that will help you to design with javascript yesterday i talked about full, full page and um, js that you can use to create your one single page website like you can see this place now it has a single page website and this was actually created with the help of that full page js you can see this get started you can see their github repository now but today what we are going to talk about is marco js First of all, let me show you the GitHub repo so that you see that it's an open source project. So, Marco JS. This was started um, about um, a year ago. I think that's the latest time that is here. We have something done here. Roadmap was made eight months ago. There's something here four months ago, six months ago, and <clears throat> a month ago, 24 days ago even seven days ago so this is a very very active repository with um, 60 contributors 409 releases 47 branches 3411 commits and they use the MIT license category so let's see how it goes in the readme the purpose is to make a friendly and fast UI library that makes building web apps fun so the essence is you want to create a particular thing you put the command in the macro and then you see what it is what it's gonna give you on the web app immediately like you don't have to start waiting till you upload it and all that you just you just do and see immediately so that's what the macro is about now you can visit the website and see much more about it here on the website say it's like HTML and JavaScript has a perfect and um, sync streaming UI components your dreams have come true yes you can copy and paste HTML from stack overflow um, server side rendering plus client side rendering also awesome bringing back progressive HTML rendering to the masses and um, a friendly and super fast UI library that makes building web apps bearable or fun so now um, the what they do here say it's simple so all you just have to do if you know html language css javascript then you are good to go with marco it's fast because it has a very little less than 10 k 10 kilobyte of um, giga zip runtime then it's progressive from simple html templates powerful UI components you see it actually happening live trusted Marco is powering high traffic websites like e eBay <coughs> so it's very easy for you to utilize it so now this is an example of the reactive UI components change the data back in a view and um, Marco will automatically and efficiently update the resulting HTML so this code here example this code here is now what is showing up here so when you click it counts it's like click counting so just because of this code is just an example for you to see how efficient macro is so you can choose a syntax write in a family you can write in familiar HTML like style and drop the angle brackets and use them can also use the macros concise syntax so there are two different you can come interconvert between the two of them so this is HTML style and this is the macro concise syntax you can see that macros syntax is a little bit shorter so um, that's that so it's fast enough to power animations at 60 FPS so if you have um, an animation you wanna do for example the above animation is 85 div tags no SVG no CSS transitions or animations all powered by Marco which does a full render 
it will render every frame so that's how it works now you have so many tools to use you can see the uh, site menu tool, site footer, site header, site layout, site search, site you know all these things are tools that you can easily use and click and they will come out automatically so Marco provides a first class support for the Atom editor with syntax highlighting autocomplete for HTML and custom tags hyperlink hyper click to quickly jump to referenced files and methods and pretty printing to keep your code readable so you can also view all editor plugins they have a lot of plugins that you can view and use so they have remarkable performance across the board you have the color pick feature you have the search tools feature so they've already uh, made like the map the comparing it between um, some other um, you know stuff like this so for node.js you can use node.js server you can use desktop browsers you can use mobile app so it's so transparent you can see Marco is topping all of them in terms of all this so Marco which is just there inferno is so poor and view even react is so poor so Marco is topping all of them in all the um, across board in terms of search results and even in terms of color picker you can see Marco is very very efficient in terms of speed OPS per second and then um, in terms of all this um, other method so it says show all browsers you can see in Chrome even Firefox iOS Safari you know Chrome for Android Marco is topping all of them in all these um, places so it just makes so much sense that you should go for Marco when you want to do your editing so the color picker benchmark this benchmark measures the time it takes to cycle through 133 colors the selected color um, in the exchanges every cycle so you have this beautiful design and can make things happen so you can see eBay open source and they use the MIT license so it's so 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 much fun and um, if you want to see see what um, we just did now happening live you can see where you can try it online we have a place where you can try that but I think it's not working very well right now um, however we can still do the uh, still go to the documents and see more about them so I'm sure this was done with them um, this um, documentation doxify you can see so they use Dox doxify to create the document site for this um, particular project so you can see how to go about it so getting started the easier, easiest way to get started with Marco is to use the try online feature that I showed you earlier so when you go to the try online the, it's like you're editing it and then you can work from there then you can just open it in another tab and follow along if you rather develop locally check out the installation page so on the installation page you now see how you are going to install this now hello world Marco makes it easy to represent your UI using a syntax that is like HTML so you can switch your syntax between um, the Marco language and the HTML language so here we have um, so if you want to switch things I just click this it switches the syntax this is the template Marco so this is um, HTML language and this is the macro short code like minified version so um, in fact macro is so much like HTML that you can use it as a replacement for template language like um, handlebars mustache or pug so a simple component let's say we have a button that we want to assign some behavior to when it is clicked so you have button you have click me they have button so Marco makes this really easy allowing you to define a class for a component right in the dot Marco view 
and call methods of that class on attributes. So if you have a class, so you see the macro language just tells you button, click me. But the HTML you have to type open and close it and it's click me. So you can see here something about this um, button on click, say hi, click me. So you've already added something to it. So adding a state, alerting when a button is clicked is great. But what about updating your UI in response to an action? So Marco's stateful component makes this easy. All you need to do is set this dot state from inside your components class. This makes a new state variable available. So that's how Marco works. It's very um, easy once you know your your HTML, your CSS. And of course your JavaScript language you are good to go so you can check um, for their syntax you can check for rendering you know different um, you can come and read further I will give you a link to their documents page so that you read further and find out for yourself how to render the macro so it's very easy there yeah, you can even do your bundler integrations and do your server integrations um, um, with HTTP or whatever one express framework integrations with um, Redux tooling editor plugin tutorials color picker articles Marco versus this comparison of Marco versus react JS like I should I've shown you already that Marco is beating all of them in terms of speed and in terms of ease of access and usability so all you just have to do is come over here and read further to find out more for yourself so thank you guys it's been awesome and i'm glad you guys enjoyed the show so this is still me naira daddy aka steam daddy my aim is still to leave you as leave you better than i find you every day thank you so much for listening cheers